Hey guys, this is Eric. Today's art lesson is my favorite working instrument. It's the palette knife. You see these guys? It's my favorite thing to paint with. More than brushes, more than anything. I love the feeling of it. It gives you that impasto, really thick, uh, super beautiful, mushy, gushy feeling. Okay, you see those strokes? So you can go real thick, you can go thin, you can move the paint. This is another good example of the rhythm you can get. Okay, see the rhythm and the thick and depthness of that pigment. So, see the wave up there, it's a beautiful example of palette knife. It's really fun stuff. And when you look at these knives, um, they're all shapes and sizes, of course, but um, you can just use that, like normal, but you can also use these shapes here and the edges, okay? And you paddle it spirally, rhythm, straight up and down. You can hatch with it, depending on the size. Look, there's one. There's a round version of one, okay? So it's a very, very fun instrument to use and super satisfying to lay down, especially with oil paint, uh, to lay down the pigment with that. But I do use it with acrylic as well. And, um, it really does something magical on the canvas, and I hope you enjoy it. Today's lesson is gonna be about that and how to use it, so let's go. As you can see, uh, palette knives come in all different shapes and sizes. And depending on what your subject matter is or what kind of uh, technique you want or scale um, is the one you will choose. And this isn't even all the ones available in the world. This is just the ones I like. So anyway, it's pretty cool to see. radiating strokes the light is radiating from the source which is of course the sun so you could do that you could do that with a brush I'm using a palette knife Okay, so you see what I'm talking about here. This is all palette knife work here. See? You see the depth? It's 
thick in the rhythms. You can do it with a brush, of course, but I don't know. There's something about the palette knife that just makes it more dramatic, more powerful. Really fun. The rest of the palette knife lesson is right here at this wave. There's nothing more beautiful than texture plus color. Here's how you do that. First of all, let me introduce you to the Big Mama. This big palette knife is how you start this giant radius, okay? This is used in construction about the hardware store, but it's a great way to lay down the base color. After that, I go to the smaller one, small radius, and I move into until I arrive at the center of the core, okay? Let me tell you something. My trick is I add color and texture in layers. I let those layers of color dry between each other. And when that happens, I want you to listen to this sound. That's the sound of texture. It's also a beautiful look when color gets dried and then gets palette knifed over that. And that builds layers and layers and layers of texture. I'll zoom in on this in a second. You won't believe it, it's very beautiful. It's a great technique, anybody can do it, and it's pretty fast too. The caveat is you have to know which colors to choose, and that's in another lesson about color choices. So anyway, let's do some palette knifing. Um, I'm gonna zoom in and work on this one right now, okay? Let's go. Medium-sized palette knife, giant painting, and you can see this radius here has already had some dried, textured color underneath it. The beauty of what you're about to see is this wet, new paint gliding over the old dry paint, and that dry paint's gonna come through and cause a really beautiful effect. And let's go. Grab some white, pure white, because I know it's gonna mix on the canvas anyway. See, it's mixing by itself. See all that dry, that Stuff coming through the wet and the dry, that's beautiful to me. That's the beauty of a palette knife. You can't do that with a brush because the brush bristles will dig into those holes and make it all smooth. But I want to be rough. You see, 